Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a waterfall chart using the built-in functionality in Excel. A waterfall chart is useful for understanding how an initial value is affected by a series of values and how this in turn affects the final value. In our example we have a company's forecast profits which we can compare with the actual figures. We have the actual income and actual loss, which in turn feeds into the actual profit. However, it's worth noting that here actual income means the quantity by which income exceeded the forecast income and loss is the amount by which actual loss differed from forecast loss. Actual profit is therefore simply forecast profit plus actual income, plus actual loss. To make sense of the values we have here, the company forecasted a profit of £600. Actual income was £400 greater than expected, and actual loss was worse than expected. In other words, actual was greater than forecast loss. Therefore, we have a net deviation from forecast of £100. In other words, 400 minus 300. And therefore, our actual profit was £100 greater than forecast. Now, what we want to do is illustrate this in a waterfall chart like this one. To do this, select the table we have here and then go into the Insert tab select any of the chart icons and then select the more option. Towards the bottom we're going to select the waterfall chart option and we can then click OK. As you can see this gives us a complete waterfall chart which wasn't possible in previous versions of Excel, where you would have had to create it from scratch yourself. Now let's make a few changes to the waterfall charts to make it more meaningful. Firstly, we want to set the actual profits bar as the total, as this is calculated by summing the previous three bars. To do this, right click the bar and then click set as total. This gives us a better idea of how actual income and actual loss are driving actual profits. Next let's change the colour of the forecast profits to distinguish it from the drivers of actual profits. We can right click the bar, click format data points and then change the fill to a neutral colour like grey. Finally, let's make a few formatting changes to make our waterfall more visually appealing. Let's remove the grid lines, remove the chart title, and also remove the legend. Since we have data labels, there's no need for the y-axis, so we can delete this as well. To remove these connector lines, we can right-click them, click Format Data Series, and then untick the Show Connector Lines option. This already looks much better. It's also worth noting that the chart will automatically adjust the colour if you change a positive value to a negative value, and vice versa, like this. This brings us to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.